Now, US FBI agents have arrived in Ecuador to help in an investigation into the killing of the presidential candidate Fernando Villavicencio, who was killed less than two weeks before elections were due to take place. His campaign had focused on tackling drug gangs and corruption. FBI agents have met with Ecuadorian police and prosecutors after the current president, Guillermo Lasso, requested assistance from the FBI. Mr. Villavicencio's running mate, 36-year-old Andrea Gonzalez, was tapped by his party to replace him. The danger of her new position very visible in the bulletproof vest she now has to wear. Our South America correspondent Katie Watson has this report. Two daughters remembering their father. A very personal goodbye after what was a very public murder. This was the moment leaving a campaign event that Fernando Villavicencio was gunned down. A man who'd exposed corruption. A man who said he wasn't afraid. The supporters had enough of the violence. He says the police are hypocrites for failing to protect Fernando Villavicencio. Six Colombians have been arrested and are now in jail. Meanwhile, the country's in a state of emergency. Just days on from losing her husband, his widow spoke out overnight. The bulletproof vest and helmet, a clear sign of the dangers she too faces. They did not protect him as they should have protected him. The state was in charge of Fernando's security. The state is directly responsible for the murder of my husband. The state still has to give many answers about everything that happened. His personal guards did not do their job. Fernando Vivacencio's team is not to be deterred. Environmentalist Andrea Gonzalez was his running mate. She's agreed to take his place and keep his legacy going. I never thought this would be permanent, she said. Fernando Villavicencio was well aware of the risks he was taking by speaking out against corruption and organized crime. Just a few days before his murder, he'd said he'd been warned, keep mentioning the Choneros gang and they would break him. At dawn today, one of the gang's leaders, José Adolfo Macias, also known as Fito, was transferred to another prison an operation involving thousands of police and soldiers. Señor Guillermo Lazo, but then, these videos surfaced. Warnings behind bars, sent from different prisons and a simple message for Ecuador's president, Guillermo Lazo. Vito's move is a smokescreen to hide his own connections with criminal gangs. And then came the threat. Keep Vito alive for the well-being of Ecuadorians. If not, thousands will die. More evidence is needed to show just how powerful organized crime is in Ecuador. This used to be one of the more peaceful countries in South America. Now, Mexican and Colombian cartels vying for territory have taken over. This is a battle of power between cartels and politicians, but who ultimately wins? There's a great deal of fear as the campaign enters its final week. Katie Watson, BBC News.